I'm sure you know there are countless products that people can buy to uh, support immune health. How does Wellmune uh, compare mm -hmm. to those products? Well, I, I, would, uh, I would bring up a couple of points regarding Wellmune and, and why consumers would want to select Wellmune versus other ingredients. Let's tar start from the very basic components of product composition. Uh, before I put something in my body, I want to know what it is. Uh, with Wellmean, you have a known composition. It's clearly stated, the, the, the beta 1316 content. Uh, there are approved analytical methods that are published uh, that are the basis for quantifying the material there. So you know well uh, what you're putting into your body. And for example, going back to, to the uh, sub, someone like a medical student or a marathon runner, or even a, a person like the women in our, in our lifestyle stress study, uh, more and more people want to know what they're consuming and how that's going to impact their overall health. So one of the reasons for like selecting Wellmune is, of course, it's, it's clinically researched and backed, uh, but we understand a lot about the composition. Having that known composition of the beta-1316 glucan allowed us to elucidate the mechanism of action and publish it in a very reputable journal. It was published in Journal of Immunology back in 2004. Um, secondly, understanding the composition directs us on how to study this product in clinical research studies. The clinical research studies for Wellmean are published in well-regarded journals. For example, British Journal of Nutrition, uh, Nutrition, Journal of the American College of Nutrition. Uh, these are names that roll easily off the tongue because they're well-researched and respected. We're not hiding our research in, in backwater journals, uh, not meaning any disrespect to anybody's research or, or any journal, uh, but we are not publishing our research in less than uh, first or second tier journals. It, going a little deeper in there, you, can you talk a little bit about the difference between Wellmune and other beta-glucans we hear? Sure. A lot about beta-glucans, and there are many products of that variety. Yep. Uh, let's talk about two forms of, well, first of all, let's make a statement about beta-glucans in general. Uh, we have to talk about and compare apples to apples. So if we're talking about beta-glucans, we first have to separate out the beta-glucans from the oat and barley. That's a different class of beta-glucans. I wish they were a different name, but they're not. Uh, it's one general category. Uh, and then let's talk about beta-glucans from just... Um, what we call fungi. There's two forms of fungi. Uh, the mushroom type fungi and then there are the unicellular organisms such as yeast. Uh, the mushroom beta-glucans have a very uh, unique structure uh, with a beta-1,3 backbone and very short side chains that sometimes can mimic the activity of a yeast beta of a true yeast beta-glucan. Uh, but um, years ago we supported research that was investigating the benefits of Wellmune versus various mushroom beta-glucans in a particular research model and demonstrated clearly that Wellmune was significantly better at supporting uh, the immune system in this particular environment than were the, uh, the fungal or the mushroom uh, beta-glucans. So it's necessary, I think, to have a good understanding of the different types of beta-glucans. Your cereal glucans, such as oat and barley, your mushroom glucans, uh, which are obviously are fairly well known, and of course the yeast beta-glucans like those that are in Wellmune. Uh, and even in the yeast beta-glucan area, um, the vast majority of research that's published and reviewed out there is Biothera's research on the Wellmune ingredient. Uh, so it's important to dig deeper than just the term yeast beta-glucan and understand that Wellmune, with its particular proprietary uh, structure, uh, a structure, chemical structure that's well understood, uh, is the one that's going to have the, the best research and the most consistent research behind it. When you talk about Wellmune, what's the recommended daily dose and how does that affect uh, children? Is it safe for them mm -hmm. to use as well? Um, in studies with adults, we have consistently used and demonstrated that a dose of 250 milligrams is, is, uh, uh, provides the health benefits. So in all of our clinical studies, we've used 250 milligrams uh, to demonstrate the, uh, the benefits of the Wellmune. Um, and that was down from, we of course uh, dose tit did dose titration studies early on to, to find the, the dose that was effective, but the lowest effective dose. Uh, and that was done a number of, quite a number of years ago now. Uh, for children, uh, there are some studies that have been done now with children. We're waiting on some of that research to come out. 
Um, and generally, we find that uh, a dose of 50 milligrams, 35 to 50 milligrams, is effective. Uh, and on one sense, um, early on, a lot of these products were uh, that for children that contain Wellmune were scaled down based on obviously the different size and weight of children versus adults. Uh, but now there's also some research that will be coming out uh, that demonstrates some of the benefits of Wellmune uh, for, um, uh, for children at, at the appropriate doses. Can you explain what cytokines are sure. and, and what Wellmune what the role they play in, in sure. the cytokine function? Uh, cytokines um, are a, sometimes a buzzword in, in our industry. Mm -hmm. uh, and people try to avoid what they refer to as, as bad cytokines and promote good cytokines. For a research cyto scientist like myself, cytokines are simply signaling molecules. They're something that are produced by different immune cells, uh, by T cells, by, by uh, macrophage and monocyte, and neutrophils, other types of white blood cells um, that allow cells to signal one another as to what's going on. Uh, there are certain times where we want particular cytokines, uh, and there are times, of course, when we don't want certain cytokines. So there's a broad range, quite a number of different cytokines. All of them are involved in signaling to help your immune system understand what course of action needs to be taken in response to a particular stimuli. That stimuli could be uh, inflammation from a cut or a wound, uh, it could be response to a potential challenge, such as if you, if you were to get a cold. Uh, certain um, cytokines will be produced to help localize the, the cold virus and prevent it from spreading throughout your body. So there's a, there's a range for a lot of cytokines, and proper maintenance of the cytokine um, population and type uh, is important for our overall health.